Are you looking for a CRM system that can collect everything in one platform? Working with leads, you often have data in multiple places in your email, in your phone, and even in your notes. This often makes it possible to easily forget something that you've already discussed with your lead. Today's product showcases Client Joy, an all-in-one CRM platform that makes it possible to gather all of your data in one place. If you do find Client Joy interesting, I have a coupon code on 20% off. I have left it in the description below. So without further ado, let's dive into Client Joy and let me show you the platform. We are now inside the platform of Client Joy and we are right in on the dashboard where we have information about our sales and invoices. This is very limited what we can see here. I would like to get a more of an overview, some more data and more extensive information. But as it is right now, this is what we have to work with. Now I just want to jump right into leads because this is where the core functionality of Client Joy is. Here you can see we're basically working with a Kanban. We can add new stages and transform this into our own. But here we have the different states of leads and we have some leads laying here. We have some search and filter options, but by clicking on a lead here, we can see some information about a lead. We can of course see name, email and title, and then we can see the activity log. So if I move this lead from a state to another state, it would be part of the activity log. Or if I integrate with my email, which I will show you just in a moment, this will also be part of the activity log. And this was what I mentioned in the introduction that Client Joy makes it possible to gather all of the information about your leads in one place. Here you can see we also have activities. This could be a calendar invite. We have some notes we can write on the lead. Again, to collect all of the data in one place is a huge bonus. We can add files and we can add proposals that we have sent out to the client. And last but not least, the email, as I just mentioned before. Now we can always click one or last on the lead depending on the lead's response and then we can convert it to a customer. Now when we convert it to a customer, this makes it possible to send out invoices. So here I will just convert this one to a customer, press save and we now have our first customer. We are then moved into the customer phase and you can see that the view is basically the same but we have added now payments and here we can see if the customer has done any payments at all within the platform of client joy if i just click on customers again we are now on the overview where we have a list of all of our customers and you can always of course keep this updated by changing tags changing information about the client and so much more now just to go back to leads for a moment because leads and customers are really working well together you can see that i just won the one i showed you as a customer so it is not here because I converted it into a customer. But when you just close a lead as one, it will be laying here until you convert it to a customer. Over here, we have the last leads. It is very simple to work with. And I do really like how simple it is. And in the bottom here, you can always see what the total amount is of the different states of the lead. So discovery, $15,000. Qualified, we have a little bit more. In conversation, we have a lot and closed one we have thirteen thousand dollars and this is just to get an overview of how much potential there are in each of these sections these two modules even though it is the core modules it is still very simple and that is what's great about client joy they make it very simple to work with your customers and your leads but now they have two beta modules here here we have the mailbox beta module this makes it possible to integrate with your Gmail, your Microsoft Outlook and other emails. Let's say you work with IMAP or something similar. By integrating with one of these three, it makes it possible to draw in your emails within ClientJoy and then basically just plot out the emails that belongs to the different clients or the different leads. This makes it possible to really gather all of the information in one place. Now for the calendar over here, it is more or less the same. Here it's possible to have one overview of your calendar. So let's say you book a meeting with a lead or a client, it would be shown in here. You can always just make new activities here, the activity type, activity name and multiple information. I would like to see here an integration to my own calendar so I can see all of my data in my calendar within ClientJoy 
or at least pull the data out of ClientBuy to see it in my calendar app, whether it's on my phone or it's on my desktop app. Now moving on to the proposals here, I will just open up the menu and toggle it. Here we can create a new proposal. I will just call this one YouTube video and the receiver will be the new client Sensor Stark. I will just create the proposal. What we can now do is that we can build out the proposal and we can even choose a template we want to use. So I really like this advertising sales template. So I will use that. I will replace the current template and now we have started on our proposal. Here you can see that it's a rather long proposal and that's great because that means that you can really build it out and make it extensive with all of the information you need. And in the end of each proposal, there are of course the client costs. How much is this project going to cost your client? Now the last page here is the signature page because you can get a signature from your customer or your lead within ClientJoy which really binds them to the proposal and this becomes a contract. But here it's easily drag and drop. We can drag in images here we want, easily upload images. We can make tables, dividers and so much more within this template. It is basically like building up a landing page. Over here we also have the styling where we can choose the background color and we can choose the font and the font color. Furthermore, we have the fields here that you can use as variables, which means that you can build a basic template and then reuse it on your leads because it is using the variables, which means that you can easily shoot out a lot of proposals without having to do a ton of work. The last one here is just other templates, but this is how you build out a proposal and send it out by email. Now in the invoices section, this is when a proposal has been accepted and you have done the work or if your client pay up front, you would also generate an invoice in here. We will send this invoice to the same customer we just worked with just before. I'll just continue here and now I can start building out my invoice. My invoice is very simple. You can see always how it looks over here. Other than that, I can add invoice items. So let's just add the items we have over here. We now have two items and we have a subtotal of $13,900. I can then press save. They also have VAT that you can work with. Of course, depending on your country, the VAT changes. Just be aware of this. Now I can choose to either send it out or copy the link and send manually by email if I want to do a little bit more customized email. Now, if I do press send here, it will just show me here the email how it is going to look and then I can send it out. I can put people CC if they need to change the subject and then build the email. I do have an editor where I can add images, I can add links and so much more. So that's great. That's what I need to just build out and send an invoice. Very simplistic. Now, one thing is that I need to create an item for each of my services. This quickly becomes a very long process to build out because often my product and my services are named different things depending on the customer. So if I need to follow that guideline, I need to go into items each time and then I need to create the new item here. So here I would just call it YouTube video and I would say that it costs $100 just for the sake of this video. We can also add hours if you work at an hourly rate. I will then press save and we now have our new item that we can then go into the invoices and then create the invoice with this item. Now, just to go back to the invoice for a moment, just to show you, it is the same as we saw with the proposal. We can change the default here, which is the receiver of the email, basically the customer that I chose, and then we can change the template. So we can choose another template right now. They do only have a couple of templates here, but as you can see in the bottom, more templates are coming soon. Now that's how you build out an invoice and that's how easy it is to build out your invoice. Now, if you do go with ClientJoy, I would recommend you setting up ClientJoy from start. This happens within settings. In here, you can set everything from notifications to the emails and so much more information about you and your company. But what's most important is the setup down here. Here you can set your branding. This will be used on all of your proposal invoices and templates coming in the future. You can set your currency. If you're using multiple currencies, I'm using DKK, which has been added here. You can add payment methods, which means that you connect your Stripe, Razorpay, or even if you use something like PayPal. 
then you can change your settings for your invoices and your proposals and you can do so much more you can really customize client joy for your need here you can even work with your client pages and customize them last but not least as i have mentioned a little bit and i'll be talking about more later in this video is integrations because they do integrate with sapir pably and integrately which makes it possible to automate your workflow out of client joy so let's say you're working with a project management tool and you want every time a lead becomes a customer within client joy you want to also create them in the project management tool this is possible with the integrations you see here to easily set up so you don't have to manually move the data copy paste or whatever it is that it takes to move the customer from one place to another it's a great addition and even more integrations are coming soon Taking a look at the pricing structure of Client Joy, it is a very fair pricing. They do have three plans, and each of these plans has all of the features within Client Joy. The only element it differs on is the amount of users you get within the plans. So, whatever you need, you need to go with that plan. You can always later on upgrade. They do also have add ons, both free and paid ones. So, do also take a look at that to see if there's something interesting for you down there. Now moving on to the competitors, as I see it, it is Pipedrive and Invoicely. Personally, I haven't used Invoicely that much, but Pipedrive reminds me a lot of ClientJoy. Pipedrive is probably number one in the industry of CRM systems right now because they do have so many integrations. And as we see with ClientJoy right now, they are really working on getting even more integrations because they know that if people are able to automate their workflows, they can save even more time using ClientJoy. So this is very exciting. I do still see Pipedrive as number one in the industry, but ClientJoy is not far behind. Moving on to the future of ClientJoy, they're working on some exciting elements as you can also see here. They are making it possible to schedule invoices so let's imagine that you have to send an invoice each month on the same amount. This will be possible to automate when it is that we can schedule our invoices. Then they are working on integrations with Paply and so many more of that type of company that makes it possible to automate our entire workflow within ClientJoy and even external systems. Then they are working on integrating with payment gateways so you can offer customers to pay your invoices within ClientJoy so they don't have to do a bank transfer. This will make it faster to get payments from your customers. As I also mentioned in the walkthrough, they have a mobile app and they're working very hard on getting the CRM system within the mobile app so you can do everything you need directly in your mobile. Last but not least, they're working on the gather leads aspect. So you can gather leads directly via ClientJoy. This means that you can build forms, you can build landing pages, to basically feed leads directly into ClientJoy. This is an exciting add-on and I'm very excited to see it in the future. Now moving on to the pros and cons of ClientJoy, starting with the pros. I really enjoy using the design and they're available on all platforms, browser, desktop and mobile. Whereas for the cons, sometimes it is a bit slow and I'm missing better and more informative dashboards with more extensive information. ClientJoy makes it easy for me to always know what state my leads are in and easily move my leads around. And with the integration to my calendar and to my email, it makes it possible for me to gather all of the information I have on the leads in one place. This is very powerful for me and I never leave anything out. Furthermore, with the integrations coming up, very soon I will be able to automate all of my workflows, even the workflows going out of ClientJoy. So that is a very interesting element. Overall, I will give ClientJoy three and a half stars. They have a very exciting future. But yeah, that is my review of ClientJoy. I hope that you liked the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to ClientJoy or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.